Uh, welcome to GetRealValley.com. In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and go over a few important things that the credit bureaus look for in determining your credit score. The number one thing they look for is the credit history. Ideally, you want three to five credit cards with at least a thousand dollar limit each and approximately two years minimum of history. That would pretty much put you on the higher tier of that section of your credit. Two years history, $1,000 or more per credit card, and at least three or five of those. Of course, the most common one that everybody's aware of is making sure that you're always making your payments on time. Every late payment um, can cost you a certain amount of points. And so it's important for you to always make your payments on time. Some tips and advice that you can use for yourself is obviously having things on auto payment. I always have a very the minimum of my credit cards on auto payment. At the very least, the minimum payment gets paid. But that leads me to the next part of the, the credit bureaus look for, and that's going to be the percentage of the credit limit that you're actually using. And that one is very important because when the credit bureaus see that you are taking your credit to the limit, um, that's actually gonna work against you. You wanna make sure you stay under 30%. Basic math, if you have $1,000 credit limit, you wanna make sure that at the end of the cycle, you only owe $300. Or best case scenario, make sure that you just pay it all off at the end of the month. But 30% and under basically puts you at the highest tier of that part, that the credit, that the bureaus look for. So those are just a few, you know, general ideas of what they look for, the history of your credit, so how long it's been, make sure you have a few open accounts that have been there for more than a couple of years. And if you don't have that luxury, then at least make sure that you add yourself to someone who's had a credit card for more than two years, preferably longer. And then of course, making sure you keep making your payments on time so you don't have any late payments that can bring you down. And also, you know, make sure that you stay under that 30% mark. Um, a few other things to discuss about your credit, secured credit cards. Now, make sure you ask the bank that you go to if that secured credit card is reported to all three bureaus as well. Um, a secured credit card basically is you grab your own cash money, you put it into a credit card and they give you a credit card with that amount of money. It's basically the safest way to build your credit. However, um, if you're just gonna do that now, then that's not going to help you with the longevity of your history, but it's gonna help you with with the responsibility of your credit. Um, those are three ways you can definitely help improve your credit scores. Uh, make sure you're responsible, make sure you have history, don't cancel those credit cards, keep them open even though you don't use them. Make sure you have at least three or five of them over a thousand dollar limit. If they don't give you a thousand dollar limit, be responsible for a few months and you'll see they'll give you the opportunity to start increasing your limit. Because the better the credit, the better the interest rate, the more opportunities you have to invest, get involved with real estate. I hope these tips help. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, we are basically credit specialists. We help run your credit report and eventually we, we go ahead and help you improve it. So take advantage of our knowledge and so that you can help yourself. Thank you again, guys. This is GetRealValley.com.